So this is the typical uh, biofil biofilter um, section. In fact, this is a second generation biofilter uh, as part of my PhD, since the first generation uh, didn't I wasn't able to meet the guidelines for uh, for nitrate removal. So we made a few modifications in within the structure, within the um, um, filter medium, and and implement this within the second generation. And the the section of the biofilter composed of five uh, different layers. Uh, each layer is responsible for different process within the system. For instance, the top layer is responsible for removal of heavy metals and the bottom uh, layer is responsible for removal of nitrate. In the top level, there is a, a, um, the aerobic processes taking place while the bottom layers are more anaerobic where nitrate can be removed. The water comes to the main to the top of the biofilter and there is um, enough space for water to accumulate and this is allowing um, um, to hold the water and allow some detention of water. Excess of water um, overflow towards the uh, drainage system, the conventional drainage system without treatment and the water start to infiltrate towards uh, the layers. The depth of the biofilter uh, can start, the minimum depth can be 500 millimeters up to 1.5 meters and the water flow from the top by gravity infiltrate and at the bottom layers the water accelerate towards the outlet and at the outlet the, the water uh, basically convey to the end use of the, of the, of the system basically meet the needs of the city, either for aquifer recharge or for a, a toilet flush, irrigation, whatever needs of the um, city. Um, the top layers, as I mentioned, are basically working um, to remove anaerobic and organic matter by, organ by aerobic processes. The bottom one, the saturated zone, at the bottom of the biofilter and this is created by elevated the outlet so there is a, a such as a kind of a pond at the bottom that um, that uh, as a result um, create an aerobic anaerobic processes so there is lack of nitrogen to allow specific bacteria to change their genetic mechanism from breathing breeding oxygen like like us into breeding um, nitrate this, which is exactly what what we wanted them to do um, on the top of the aerobic process anaerobic processes we also introduced some energy source to allow this those bacteria to become dominant and replicate themselves and and basically the the the, the mechanism is when there is a lot of bacteria, the time of removal becomes shorter. So this is the concept of the biofilter is to, is to combine between drainage and, and water treatment. And this is, has to optimize since for drainage there is not enough time because we might create flooding backflow but when we want to treat water we need more time between the bacteria and the pollutants so the biofilter um, reflect a compromise between those two and and therefore the time of drop of water that's spent in the biofilter it's about two to two and a half hours depends on the depth of the biofilter but this is a short time to do and to remove those uh, pollutants.